hour. Are under Next game. Finally! Foggy vs. Fly, Rejuvenation Cup Play Day 9, best of 6. Both Foggy and Fly haven't really had the best start into this league, both pretty far down in the standings. They need to get some points. They need to get some wins. Especially Fly, who has not gotten, gotten a single point so far. Looking to change that today. Players forces are Line the top attack. left in the blue playing the Farseer, as has become quite popular on Tight Hunters. Farseer one grunt into headhunters most likely. And Fog is trying to power creep as quickly as he can. Going right away for the natural creep, but this is a big last hit. Oh and the Farseer steals it! Oh that's such a big deal. And here the ping definitely helping out fly because we're playing the first map on Nettie's. Forces are under attack. Great items for Foggy though. Claws and gloves, exactly what he wants. Farseer gets level 2. Now we're gonna have Chain Lightning, but the Keeper also getting level 2, so... Oh, no, he's not level 2 yet, actually. A player's forces are under attack. All because of that last hit steal. Foggy playing Mass Archers. This is something we saw by him before against Soen. They had a crazy game here on World 3 Champions where Soen was going for an all-in push with Alchemist on tier 2, Headhunters and Towers. Foggy defended it really, really well and then somehow... I don't know how, but somehow... Soen was able to come back with tier 3. Maybe Soen, or rather Foggy there made the mistake of not expanding when perhaps he could have. First headhunter seems really late, but I guess he uh, went for the war mill or burrow late, and that's why. A player's forces are under attack. And now it's just heavy creeping. Both heroes getting close to level 3. Second hero choice here normally would be TC or Shadowhunter. The danger of going TC always is that you might be facing a Demon Hunter. And then mana burning against the TC nullifies his effect. Well, to be fair, TC is still a great tank and the aura is still always great. But of course, in terms of Stomp, he's not going to be doing much anymore. A player's forces are under attack. And is a Demon Hunter second? Indeed. So this is a bit of a gamble. What hero should you choose? What hero is your opponent choosing? Against the Demon Hunter it would be much better to have a Shadow. Oh, but the Keeper has the perfect timing. It is the Shadow Hunter, so... The hero choice might be in favor of Fly with this. Oh, nice deny. Grunt does not give experience to Foggy. He's checking the natural. Works now normally with a strategy. You want to go for a tier 2 expansion. But it's a tier 3 rush by Fly. Okay. A player's forces are under attack. And with the Hex, he can easily look, look for kills. Maybe Speed Scroll. Could get another Archer. Oh, the Wolf almost able to pick that one up. But good block by Foggy, saving the next Archer. So only one Archer goes down. One Archer traded for one Grunt. I like that he kept the gauntlets for the Demon Hunter. Bonus HP on the Demon Hunter is very, very valuable. And now with the Wolves and Headhunters, Fly can creep pretty easily, but can't creep, solo creep the Shadow Hunter all that well, I guess. Players forces are under attack. As Foggy's rushing Tier 3, Dryads first, 
Rides and bears the norm nowadays. I still feel like mountain giants could have a place. But probably first you want to go 50 supply and ride bears and then go into MGs. Into upkeep. Oh, fly very close to being in a perfect creep jack position. He's right next to Foggy down there, but it's nighttime. They have a They're not able to see each other right now. I think Foggy has Ultra Vision, right? So he's got the vision advantage right now for a little bit longer. That's going to turn daytime again very soon. Foggy is playing very afraid. He doesn't want to go into an engagement. He knows how easily these archers can die. And he wants to have Dryads first to dispel the wolves. To dispel the Hex. A player's forces are under attack. Mana can be very strong, but certainly a hero who needs levels. Level 3. Oof. Especially. That was close, dude. Farseer almost got the last hit. Didn't quite. Demon gets the experience, gets more HP. He's got plus 12 strength now. Which, again, is really good at a demon. Farseer almost level 4 already. That's certainly very strong. Very fast. It's always a question, how strong is a Farseer really going to be in the late game? I think Fly played the mid-game here very well, creep-wise. He crept camps away aggressively from Foggy, as he knew that Foggy was still going to need some time to fully come online with Tier 3 and Bears. And we have a TC 3rd as well, despite the Demon Hunter. Shadowhunter creeping to level 3 and beyond. And it's just a creep fiesta kind of game so far. A player's forces are under attack. All but Venom now as well for Foggy. Master training about to be done. Big upgrades coming in for Foggy. Probably wants to have an invul potion on the demon as well. Even with all these strength items, you still want to have an invuln, ideally. Didn't get it, though. It's got the TP on the demon. And we're gonna have Bloodlust as well, coming into play soon. Get ready, boys! Ra ra ra. Oh, and Foggy is going for the base attack. He's moving around the southern side of the map, looking to hit the orc in the main. There's a TP, I'm pretty sure, on Fly, right? Yeah, there is. TZ not quite level 2 yet. Roar. Activated. And then we go. Ra ra ra. We see Bloodlust everywhere. And the bears are taking quite some damage here. Foggy on a TP out. One more mana burn. Forgot about the mana burn. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. This is working out quite well for Fly, isn't it? He just went for the tiny. He's got the win condition on his side now. Somehow, not a single headhunter has died this game. I think it comes down a lot to the early game. It, can it comes down a lot to that one last hit, I think, on the Murloc. Because of that, the Keeper was slowed down on the way to level 2, and on the way to level 3. And without level 2 and Tangle, it's going to be a lot harder for the Night Elf then to be aggressive early on. Crazy how much nowadays these just few last hits can make such a big difference. Alright, Foggy committing all in to the push. Bring a lot of wisps to detonate. He knows with the expansion in the back, the orc is gonna overpower him soon enough. Helm of Valor is actually pretty damn good for the TC. Not bad at all. Chain lightning against the wisps. They are trying to detonate against the war against the bloodless and onto the shaman, ideally. 
PC comes in. Doesn't get off the stomp. Not quite. Shadow Hunter taking a lot of damage. Has to use the heal wave only on himself, basically. Mass repair as well. Wisps now coming in, trying to detonate. Almost surround the TC. Is he surrounded? Oh no, not quite. The TC barely slips out. He might still be caught. Oh, the heal ward in the back and the heal wave as well. It's taking so long to kill off this TC. I think he's going to get him in the end. But so many bears have dropped down in the meantime. Heal scroll committed as well. Mana potion. Hex as well. And the TC even survives. Speed scroll. Pull back. Reposition. TC somehow still not dead. Great items for the TC. Bonus HP regen. Hit points in general and armor. Such a tanky third hero. Foggy perhaps also surprised at how tanky this TC really was. However, he's got mostly piercing damage, so... Dealing with the Dima Hunter, not that easy. Lots of gold on fly, by the way. He's low on lumber at the moment. Maybe that's what's holding him back. More production is coming, of course, from the main 46 supply for the orc. Foggy has a lot of bears returning. It's not over yet. The man almost have a fall. That's going to make him a lot more tanky than TP given over to the TC. If he TPs out, this expansion most likely is going to fall. I think Fly, perhaps he can afford to let this expansion go. Heal up, creep one more camp, get a level up from the lab, pick up the item. Thank you, Bibilds, with a 14 month resub. There's a new year with a new cup. Glad to be here. Expo's down, Foggy's push has worked out. That was so close, though. I feel like a few of these shaman are too much on Bloodlust Autocast. I feel like a few purges have been missing. Oh, the TC! Speed scroll, oh my god. Oof. Man, these rings and helm for the TC have been amazing. He's almost level 3. I wonder if the Farseer might be close to level 5. That would also be a big level up. Wolves, normally not the best in the late game, but here in this scenario, we don't have too many Dryads, so... I don't think they can get dispelled too easily. And having a bit more frontline with Wolves would also be nice. The thing is, Foggy can now just kind of camp, I think, on 50 supply, and then maybe break into upkeep with Mountain Giants. But he's going only Bears for now. Where's the item? Ah, there it is. Flute of Accuracy. Oh my goodness. 3-0 Berserkers plus Flute. So I should definitely go for one armor upgrade though. That has crazy value. Foggy is breaking into upkeep. Two more bears in queue. Wolf with Bloodlust very fast across the map, scouting things out, looking to see if there's perhaps an out of expansion. Don't find one. Are under attack. Augie again bringing lots of wisps. Oh, we have a bestiary now. Kodo upgrade coming. That's going to be so much... Damage on these Berserkers. It's going to be like plus 10 damage or something. Oh, he has a double orb of venom now. That's also serious DPS from his heroes. Got lots of mana potions on fly, by the way. He was being greedy. Staying in no upkeep for a long time. 
Would have loved to see an Invis Potion on the TC. Big Stomp out of nowhere. There's the Stomp. The TC in trouble right away. He's taking so much damage. That's the problem with this Orc army. That's just not much frontline. Beautiful Stomp here, though. TC hits it wonderfully into all the bears. Another target fire is coming in. One bear goes down right away. TC has to fall back once again. Shadow Hunter is low mana. Even some Treants being summoned at the back. Level 5 farce here. Oh, the mana burn perfectly timed by Foggy. The Kodo is here, and all the bears are gone suddenly. This may have been the turnaround from Fly. So much damage on these Berserkers. Absolutely crazy. With the Kodo and Bloodlust and everything else. Come on, click on the Headhunter. I want to know. It should be plus 10 damage, I believe, with those two auras. And now, finally, Fog is going into Mountain Giants. And yeah, that may have been the mistake. Breaking into upkeep with bears instead of with Mountain Giants. Aggressive purges. Demon Hunter getting hexed, trying to get a mana burn out, but there's a staff. Foggy hardly has any units left, but he's working with a moon juice here. Two MGs have been added, but he doesn't have Harden Skin yet. He can't engage into the fight yet. Taking out the Kodo would be huge. I think there's still a bear in the stomach as well of the Kodo. TC again, taking a good amount of damage. These items have been such a huge help for the TC, it's actually crazy. Entangle now. TC in trouble. TC might be going down. Speed scroll, heal scroll. Everything to try to save the third hero, and he does! Just ever so barely. Invo Potion on the Demon Hunter is over. And there's hardly any healing left for Foggy. What's the resources for Fly? He might be able to go for a new tiny Great Hall. Yeah, if he waits a bit, he's gonna have enough. And the main bases may expire soon as well. Then Foggy's gonna be in serious trouble if he's not already. TC also close to level 4. If the Shadow Hunter gets level 5, that should certainly be GG. Resistance skin getting researched as well, otherwise. The MGs can get devoured by Kodos, which is very bad. Oh, the Shadow is about to get level 5 here, actually. From the green camp. And the TC is about to get 4. I think Fly has done it. Fly has, seems to have reached critical mass. Didn't quite get TC level 4, but he's still very, very close. And Fly could afford a Tiny right now pretty easily. Foggy is happy that it's night time once again. Finally, the Moon Juice region is kicking in again. I'm not sure if he has Wellspring. Sometimes he skips it because his Lumber economy is not looking that good. Once again, we see Foggy. Low Lumber. He's been bringing a lot of Wisps to these fights. I think that is the tiny, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Tiny Great Hall placed once again and again. Fly has the win condition, and this time, 
Foggy is looking a lot less promising in the next big fight. I think he bought Wand of Illusion. Wand of Illusion, great item all game round, early game, mid game, late game. Gonna use that on the TC. Foggy has a lot of gold though, 1500. He was able to save up quite nicely, I guess. Player's forces are under attack. So what's he gonna do with that? Just mass MGs? Yeah, apparently. MGs also cost quite a bit of lumber, so this is still a bit of a problem for Foggy. Fly sees the Tree of Eternity moving. Knows about Foggy's attempt here to expand again. But the hero levels are just so crazy. It's about to be 5-5-4. Five, five, Super sick. Witch Doctor Adept Training. Is he trying to go for heal wards? Shredder as well. <laughs> Fly's more than happy that to take this game into the late. A player's forces are under attack. Foggy has a super tanky front line. These MGs are gonna be hard to bring down. But how much damage does he have ready to put in? Here we go. Fly coming in. Big army. Close to 70 supply. He's got some illusions as well. A tank in the front. And crazy damage from the Berserkers. Now we're getting hexed right away. TC kind of in the back. Wisp. Being brought in as well, they were getting sniped partly. Foggy now supply blocked. But Fly doesn't like the look of things here as it seems. It's two very polar opposite kind of armies. One is all damage and one is all frontline and tank. And we're down to one base, one base again. Mains expired. Somehow this TC is still level 4. But he's gonna get it soon. Doctor Master Training, so soon we're gonna have heal awards as well. And I wouldn't be too surprised to see another tiny great hall soon. A player's forces are under attack. Flies has pretty much got the resources. Maybe he has to wait for the cooldown. In the shop. Players' forces are under attack. And there we go. Next tiny great hall, second expansion. <laughs> but Foggy did make it up to 70 supply again somehow. 
Yeah, what about torrents? Torrents is especially good with walkers. I guess Fly doesn't really have the resources to go torrents plus walkers. Are under or... Um, it would take very long, I guess. Anyways! Go into the next fight. TC did get level 4 somehow. And off we go. We got a heal award in the mix. That one has to be cancelled quickly, and it is. We even got stasis traps, which is really cool. Polo's trying to get forward to get a snack off. Oh, he gets the bear. And suddenly, it's only the mountain giants left. And yes, they're very tanky, but even they can die after some time. First mountain giant has to be staffed out. It's about both staffs on cooldown now, I think. He's seen the front line getting entangled, but he's got the Immo Potion, must have. And it's just too much. It's too much damage. Finally, the MGs will be going down, and Foggy losing everything right here. GG is called. And Fly takes the 1 0, getting one step closer to hopefully, finally, getting a point in the Rejuvenation Cup. Is from uh, from last year, right? Early last year, he looked really, really good. This year, it's a bit different. Okay, finally. Sorry for the little delay here, my friends. It's not exactly my fault, but uh, still. Took some time to get game number two underway, but here we go. Finally, we are. Ready here for map two. Last refuge will be our map. And no Fossier here, of course. This is a map where. Oh! Night Elves can play Talents, but I was about to say, normally Foggy never plays Talents, but here he does. And that's not bad for him at all. Normally against the Demon Hunter, the Orcs want to have heal salves early and put pressure on the Demon and then heal up. But with this build, which is expecting a Keeper, you skip the shop. So there's no salves at the moment for Fly to recover health. It's a Wand of Illusion as well, which is the perfect item. And Foggy went for Circlet very early. He took some damage on the Demon Hunter from the Creeps to secure the Circlet. Kind of weird that the second Borough is built so far forward. Normally it's the first Borough in front. Oh, and Foggy's gonna get a cancel here, I think. Oh, or he's gonna get stuck. Uh oh, that's not a good start for Foggy. Yeah, here comes the repair. He's gonna have to TP, right? Oh, was that an intentional trap? Oh, and the archer dies. Foggy, what's going on? Oh, that's a very bad early game. TP gone, archer dead. Demon Hunter, not even level 2 yet. It's gonna go for a Tele Staff now. Foggy used to be known for being super strong with his talent strategy, especially with a tier 2 push with the Beastmaster. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, and Fly's making a third grunt. Oftentimes against talents, you only want to have two grunts because they're gonna get super hard countered later.
The hero levels, especially on the Nidos side, are going to be very important. It's going to be up to the Demon Hunter to do most of the damage. Demon Hunter plus Beastmaster plus Tinker later on. If the Night Elf heroes are low level, the Orc can oftentimes overpower them with Raiders and Walkers. But doing that against strong Night Elf heroes is going to be much harder. A player's forces are Fly with the attack. Bestiary and the Torn Totem. But he's really low on resources right now. He can't even make the second hero. And I wonder if that third grunt was not a mistake, perhaps. And here we go. Beastmaster joining the party. Foggy wants to hit the orc main and cancel the buildings. He seems to be a little bit late, though. I'm not sure if he's going to be in time. PC starts production now. Foggy went for the preservation staff, I'm pretty sure. A town is under siege. And now Fly is trying to get back. Didn't find the greatest items. Well, you find pretty good items, but no claws. Can he get the totem? This is a big deal. I think he should be able to. Oh, it's close with the damage, but it's enough. Right? Oh my god, no way! <laughs> oh, did you guys see? How much HP was that? I think that was like 20 HP or something. Oh my god. At least Foggy gets out. He's got the staff to make it home, but... Not getting a delay on this against the walkers is a big deal. Lumber is still low on fly though, so... He can't get the upgrades here too easily at all. Tier 3 at least, halfway through, talents will be coming. That TP being gone, by the way, for Foggy is really annoying. That means later on it's going to be pretty dangerous to move out on the map without having that TP. already. And he's got so much mana to use as well. Man, Foggy's in trouble. If this Ancient of War falls, it's going to be extremely hard to creep anything for Foggy. Especially the lab is something they wanted to creep here soon. But he loses the AOW. Doesn't have reveal anymore. TC gets level 2. Got the Sobi Mask. At least talents will be ready soon. Master training started about 90 seconds away. Kind of weird that Fly didn't steal the last hits here. Could have easily done this. Oh well. Foggy trying to creep this camp is pretty bold. Surely Fly will come in and try to creep jack this. With the heal scroll, probably. Oh, and he gets the last hit. There was a reveal, but too late. The Demon Hunter isn't quite level 3 yet, but should get it now in a moment. He steals the item! Are you kidding me? Fly playing amazing this series. Gets the Ankh, which is not the greatest for him, but it's great to steal away from the opponent. But Master Training. The saving grace. It's going to be done here soon. A player's forces are under attack. Only five towns at the moment. We have a hawk. Blade is revealed. Ensnare flying. Beastmaster in a bit of trouble, but there should be a staff, right? Yeah. And with that, he's safe. Fly. Is he going to chase? Is he going to fight into the Nile of main base? This could be the opportunity for Foggy to turn it around. Fighting in his main. It's the biggest advantage he's going to get. Oh, but the Demon Hunter doesn't have the level 2 burn yet. That is so annoying. Against this TC, he was ready to throw the next Shockwave. Old school Orc playstyle. Alright, that Shockwave was horrible, but... Well, you're going to take what you get, get I guess. 
The demon does have now the orb, so that's going to add in a lot more damage. Emerald Potion pop on the blade, trying to go for a hero kill, but doesn't find the connection really. Bit of a wasted invul. One more grunt goes down, it's finally level 3 on the demon hunter. That was about time. And Fly is going to back up, but Foggy had a decent exchange there, I'd say. Players' forces are under attack. <laughs> Fly not an upkeep yet. Guys got a new heal scope. So we mask very nice now to regen up the TC slowly. And the army has gotten stronger for Fly as well. He got rid of some of the grunts, which are very useless at this point in the game. And Fly also is able to steal away the Rock Golem. It might be even able to buy a Berserker here. Something you love to add in against talents. Oh, the Walker. Oh, we lost a Walker to Creeps. That's a big mistake. Foggy finally got a stinker, but he's still not quite at 50 supply. Players' forces are under attack. Late level four. That's pretty fast. But a walker died, a raider died. Fly losing some units here. Quite some gold. Could go up to 70 supply. Late Master is covering the back so that the TC can creep the red camp. Would give him level 4. Can he get this around? Should be able to. Late Everything's pretty hurt though, so some more heal salves gonna be needed. More heal scrolls. Block of Flames? Really not the best. It seems like it should be great on paper. TC standing next to the talents and all that. But the T's always going to be up in the air. He's going to be standing away from the talents anyways. So, should probably sell that item. Foggy creeping the red camp here quickly. This is valuable. Very valuable experience for Foggy. And Fly's going to hit the base. Pretty sure he's got pillage by now. Oh no, he doesn't. Not yet, but he's going to force that TP nice and easy. Blade Master's very fired up, so... Foggy knows exactly where that guy is going. When is Fly going to go into upkeep? A thousand gold now for the orc. I'm sure he would love to have another heal scroll. And it's starting to look better and better for Foggy. If we're even in supply, that's great for the Night Elf. And only now Fly starts his production, but again he's gonna force Foggy to retreat by hitting the base, hitting the main. A town is under siege. And Foggy does feel the need to TP out again, TP home again. It's a counter TP. Fly actually purchased his own TP. But that was valuable time for more production. Fly now. Players forces it's gonna have a big attack. army soon. He's master close to level three. That's also gonna be a big level up. He might be able to get it here. Before he gets to three four three two hero levels, he's gonna be quite strong. But again, Fly's army is going to be big. 62 supply, plus another heal scroll, I imagine. Thank you, I hostily with a 6-month resub. It says, I always... It's always good to have some Walker 3 and Remo. Let's see what that boxer can do. Talking about Foggy here, of course. PC Shockwave again, not connecting too well. Oh, 
lots of Cyclone being used. We just see some disenchants here. And we do. Late Master and Raiders in the back. TC trying to get out the big shockwave. There we go! That was a good shockwave, finally. The Fairy Dragon's also doing a lot of damage right now. Inbo Potion Pop trying to go for a hero kill now, maybe. Level 2 Critical Strike against the Tinker could lead to a kill, but there's a heal throw on Foggy. Good fight for Foggy, I think. But now that it's becoming more scrappy, the Cloak of Flames is actually pretty good and Fly still has a heal scroll. Okay, perhaps not that good of a fight after all. Demon Hunter kept at bay once again, has used the info potion here to survive. So many talents going down! Raiders finding one kill after the next. Beastmaster also has to use the invul. Pocket Factory taking out perfect heal scroll. Saving two of the Raiders right there. And the Demon Hunter now getting targeted and snares are ready. The Demon goes down! Late Master hits level 5, and that should be game. Big crits coming through. Foggy calls for the GG. And we got the 2-0 lead for Fly. Foggy. And seemingly not so ready for the talent play. Colorful especially in the past, and also Lawlight have looked really good with the talents, but for Foggy, that early game already wasn't great. Losing the TP. Losing the archers. Took him forever to get level 3 Demon Hunter. And Foggy was almost exclusively playing a Keeper for quite some time now. For years, honestly. Seems to need a bit more practice with Talons. But Fly takes a 2-0 lead. Fly now only one map away from getting the first point. In the Rejuvenation Cup. Against Lawlight and Colorful, Fly was struggling quite a bit, but today against Foggy, it's looking a lot better. Who else do you play against? Fly. Oh yeah, against Lin. That's right. Against Lin, it was very close. It was a 2-4 to four against Lin. Was almost able to get the draw there. Foggy needs to start bringing it back. If he loses the next map as well, it's going to be looking really rough for him. Not just... Of course, uh, it's going to be impossible to get a win, but even to get a draw. So it's import important now for Foggy to get this next map. As I said, we're going back to Nettie's, so this isn't doing him many favors. But he has shown, he has proven many times before that even on Nettie's, even on high ping, Foggy can do really well. But the matchup against Orc, it's been his weakness for a long time now. And we're going to have the next map starting momentarily. Yes, there we go. Wait, what? It's last refuge again? Wait, what? Map 2 and 3 are Last Refuge. That is super weird. The player's forces are under attack.
So maybe as loser's pick, Foggy can say choose the same map again? Uh, okay. I don't really understand this, but fair enough. It's a Demon Hunter first again by Foggy. And Fly scouting it out this time as well. Different opening built by Fly. He's going creeping first. He's going for a shop, as I said earlier, against the Demon Hunter. We want to have salves early and trade HP and uh, drain moon juice early on. I love the pull here by the peon. Oh my god, he almost got the last hit with the peon. That would have been sick. Claws as well for the Blade Master. Both heroes starting up, starting off very nicely. Pretty late tech for Fly though, I think. Starting it just a moment ago. And trying to creep the older Magi. Wow, that's pretty bold. Is this gonna work out before the Demon Hunter comes back? Oh, it's pretty close. Let's use a Windwalk here, maybe. Oh, not quite. Finds a ring. Not the best, but for early game trading against the Demon Hunter, it's actually pretty decent. A player's forces are under attack. And with this late tech for Fly, that should mean that the tier 2 harass for Foggy should work out much better this time with the Beastmaster. Going for the Merc Camp creep. A player's forces are under attack. Well, the blade might get stuck in the main here if he's not careful. Now going over to the creep jack at the Merc Camp, but it seems to be a bit too late. Oh no, the Rock Golem is still there actually. Be able to get the archer with the wind walk. Oh, it's so close! At least a shadow priest. Oh no, it didn't survive. Wait, did he lose the archer, shadow priest, and ancient of war? This does not seem to be a good day for Foggy. This is not a good start by any means. Level 2 for the blade. Healing up the grunts now. I wonder if he's going to go for 3 grunts again. Oh, Hunter's Hall this time. Oh, Foggy is switching into Dryads. That could catch Fly completely by surprise. Attack. Fly trying to steal the item from the Rock Golem away. I think he's going to get it as well. Lionhorn of Stormwind, always good. Radar Walker and TC again. Okay. This is not looking bad for Foggy. Over the blade, scouts the main, sees the lures. A player's force if he reveals himself, he might get stuck in here. Might he not? Okay. Agent of War uproots. Quick reactions by Fly. Is he gonna cancel his buildings? When you see double lures, especially if it's Dryad play, double beastry mass raiders can be really good. We've seen that especially from Focus many times before. Okay, didn't cancel the Torrent Totem, but he cancelled the hero. Attack. Going for Shadow Hunter now instead. And Foggy's just trying to creep up. Get Demon Hunter level 3. He needs it badly. The blade also getting level 3 perfectly in time when the Shadow Horn comes out and he's got a replenishment potion. Level up works out wonderfully. And seems like Foggy wants to go indeed for uh, Mass Riots. 
And honestly, these walkers I don't see being too effective. Master would love to steal the item here, but the wind walk runs out, and oh, you should be able to. Oh no, not again, not again. Ooh, he almost got the item. That goes to Foggy. Mana stone for him. Not the greatest. A player's forces are under attack. I feel like it would have been better to go double beast tree here. For fly. But we'll see. Well, the last boots for the Shadowner. Oh my god, this is going to be a super strong Blade Master. And it's going to be a Blade Master who is not going to be cycloned. He has two claws. The player's forces are under attack. And Quelthala's boots, right? Or is it even three claws? I think it's two claws. Oh boy. That's one hell of a blade. Foggy, that's really want to fight this. Fly doesn't seem to be eager, too eager right now to take a fight. A player's Get a second raider. These little creeps will be level three. Shadow Hunter doesn't have serpent wards, by the way. He may want to retrain later into serpent wards, especially on level four. I'd like to see it. Level 2 Bash Bear, by the way. Second Immo Potion for Foggy is pretty damn good. Fly should probably try to focus more on the Dryads. Right, he's going for the Demon right away. Oh, the Bash Bear. Bashing the Blade as well, limiting the damage here a little bit. First Immo Potion popped. And the Bash Bear is doing a good job here holding the front line, tanking for the Knight of Army. Speed scroll dispelled everywhere. Beastmaster getting focused next. Another heal scroll. Lots of evil potions committed from Foggy. But suddenly this mana is gone and there's no healing left anymore for the orc. Oh, Foggy with one hell of a turnaround here, perhaps. Both players losing quite a lot right here. Master is still strong. Could give over the Invo Potion if needed. Foggy also has another Invo Potion left. Oof. Bloody exchange. 42 supply. Left for fly. How much does Foggy have? Yeah, I think the walkers were really incorrect. And now Foggy's going tier 3. Some headhunters being added in now as well. Can work very well against Dryads, but also if the demon gets to them, can take him apart quickly. Fly definitely has to retrain into Serpent Wars, I'm pretty sure. This hex is just not doing anything anymore. with a huge item. It's the Legion Doom in here. That's amazing. It's gonna get double level 4 from this camp. Can't use a heal scroll out of combat though to heal up the Dryads again. It's always a difficulty with Dryads. It's very hard to heal them up. Can't really use Moonwells. Too inefficient. Health on the Blade Master. Very good find. Oh, is that class plus 12? He's making room on the blade. Oh, Helm of Valor. Also very good. And 
And the Shadow Hunter should be getting to level 4. Alright, Foggy gonna finish tier 3. He's gonna go master training. Good amount of gold still for Foggy here. A player's forces are under attack. Double level 4 heroes. A town on seen. both sides, though. Like, doesn't even have enough inventory space for all these items. He has to destroy the ring. And we see a lot of gold on the orc side. And with reinforced defenses finishing, Fly should be definitely favored in a base trade scenario. Foggy's gonna hit the main. Reinforced is not quite finished yet. Oh, but just finishing now. Oh, and there's some bears. There's some bears in the main. Disenchant. And that one bear is dead. Shadow Hunter! Oh my god, Fly with a huge mistake. Shadow Hunter. Caught in the back. But he had the TP. Alright. Gets out with the TP. And he got a devourer as well. Shadow on a level four and a half. Still hasn't retrained. I feel like that's not correct. A player's forces are under attack. The town is under siege. Foggy on the map creeping, trying to get level five perhaps. Got the Thunderhawk as well. Which is something, I guess. Well, Fly's going for the Expo, it seems. Foggy, however, in upkeep, might be ready to push this if he scouts it. Hasn't seen it yet. A player's forces are under attack. This Blade Master is really strong. And the Shadow Hunter about to be level 5 to back him up with Heal Wave 3. Foggy's taking the supply lead. 61 supply. Tier 3 advantage. But the question is always how well are the bears going to do against the Kodos? And how many Kodos do we have? It's not that many, right? I only see one at the moment. The bear was devoured. The army for fly doesn't seem to be so good against bears. He's got a lot of raiders, which is like the worst thing against bears. And here we go. Foggy heading south. Fly sees it right away. Are you gonna go for a heal scroll here? I'm sure. Blades Windwalk about to run out. He's trying to buy a heal scroll. The expansion is gonna be cancelled. Fly now stuck with 600 gold. Okay, or it just finished? No, it didn't. Now it finishes. And now comes more production. 65 supply for Fly. Boy, oh, Foggy fights here. He's gonna fight right into the reinforcements and into the shop. If you could take out the shop though, that would be huge. All right, Fly gets the first devour. Shadow Hunter should not be in range of this demon. Oh my god, the damage from the bears is so high though. We have disenchants coming in. We have quite a few of these. Another Kodo joins from the side. One more bear goes down. Who is this fight better for? It's hard to tell. Blade Master tanking a lot of damage, but it's great for Fly. He's got so many potions still to keep this blade alive. He's completely safe. More Rejuve coming in, but also Disenchant. Great Disenchants. 
I think Fly is taking this fight. Demon Hunter in trouble, he's got the Invo Potion, gonna have to use it. But the Raiders are basically all gone, so... No more ensnares here. Double level 5, oh my goodness. One Kodo fell, would love to take out the next Kodo as well. Oh, well, that's the Lost Rides now going down. Lake Master finding a lot of kills. And getting close, I imagine, to level 5. That Kodo surviving just barely, but the Demon Hunter does not! And that must be game. Blade Master chasing for more kills. Hex. Right clicks. And that's it. GG. And a 3 0 lead for Fly. He finally got the first point. In the Rejuvenation Cup. And. Foggy. In a rough spot. At least for the next map, we're going back to War 3 Champions. Where Foggy might be doing better. And if I see it right, I might be able to join into the lobby this time, which would be cool. Foggy has a chance to still bring it back and at least get one point through a tie if he wins the next three maps consecutively. So consecutively. Out of the, oh, Jesus, what is going on? <laughs> Out of these three, two of them will be played on War 3 Champions, so he's going to be a bit favored here. And we are going back to Tight Hunters. All right, this time we even have our own overlay. In the bottom right, Fly. In the yellow, top left, Foggy. In the red. Is it gonna be a Farseer again here is the question. It looked really good for Fly earlier. It was just really straightforward. Farseer, pressure at the beginning. Didn't lose anything. Of course, stealing that one last hit was so huge. And then uh, massing Headhunters, Shadowhunter second. And then going tier 3. But no, it's late master this time. Alright. I like the shop here in front. Great to gather heal cells and everything. Get there easily from the middle. It's also a good scouting position. 
Speaking of scouting, Peon also going to be sent out to check things out. A player's forces are under attack. Not the best start for Foggy. Ring of Protection is going to be good for a second hero, but not for the first hero. The Blade Master also not too happy with the cloak. Would love to get some slippers. But that's uh, not too, too likely. Foggy, of course, with the Hunter's Hall. This is a standard build. Keeper hunts into Expo. Circlet and a very early dust for fly. Wants to make sure he can reveal the archer. While Foggy crept level 2 and found really good items, at least for an alchemist. Oh, and the grunt might be dead. Is he gonna pop the speed scroll to save the grunt? Oh, the keeper was trying to reach. Late master blocking. Can he keep the grunt safe? Seems like just barely he can. That looked pretty risky. By a fly, creeping this green camp away, but it seems to work out for him in the end. Now it's nighttime. Foggy doesn't quite have ultra vision yet, so he can't see the grunt here too easily. As the expansion is being started, if the peon sees his expo, a player's forces are this could be a huge attack. problem for fly. Keeper's looking for some kills, and he's certainly going to get some peons, but he's looking for the grunt, I guess. So the grunt is here, safely healing up. Bit of a mistake by this peon, I guess, not to be siege. checking over here. But Fly was mostly concerned with his grunt. And he might be losing the shop here, just to the Treants. But the Blade Master is just trying to get the item here from the marketplace, I guess. Oh, okay. He knows he has the time, as the keeper is busy with the shop. Would kind of expect him to remake the shop in the main. One of mana stealing is alright. Not that great. As the expansion for Foggy... Soon to be finished. Seems like a good early game for Foggy. Didn't get a grunt kill, but... Uh, oh. oh, Fly actually gets the last hit. Item. Wait, who got the item? Oh, Fly got the item as well. I think it was Gauntlets. And here comes the Shadow Hunter second. Shop had to be remade. A player's forces are under attack. So Fly defended the attack very well. He didn't lose anything. No peons, no grunts. I guess he lost the shop, but that one doesn't matter so much. But Foggy got the expansion up nice and early. So I'd say both can be happy with this early game outcome. Very early beast tree by Fly. Probably wants to add in an early Wind Rider. No War Mill. A lot of orcs nowadays go for a fast War Mill. Fly, apparently not. Alright, now the Blade Wood knows what's going on. He was probably expecting this Tree of Life already. But now he has confirmed it. Now he knows for sure. And Serpent Wards first. No Hex. Sometimes we will see Hex from the Orcs, especially if they try to go for Hero Kill or Hunter's Kill. We got the Sentinels, so the Blade is not going to be a threat here. Circle for the Keeper. And it's almost level 3 already. Oh, last hits. Oh. 
Blade misses it. A little bit of a missed opportunity, I guess. Oh, and the Keeper is coming in for a possible creep jack here. Shadowhunter almost level 2, but not quite there yet. A player's force is under attack. Alright, I'm probably getting up his expansion. And now Fly can start to feel more safe. He's got the first Shaman. He's got the Wyvern. Oh, and he gets the Heal Scroll. That's also a big deal. Blade was revealed, but still got the item. Fly's going to take a bit of damage creeping this camp, and it's going to be valuable experience. Ooh, the Blade. We know all too well how Fly likes to play with fire with his Blade Master. Ring of Regent is a great item for the Blade, actually. Can't believe he's sticking around up here. Oh, Foggy made the second Engine of War at the expansion. That's pretty risky. If this one falls, he's going to be really crippled in production. I thought maybe they would try something with the creep and snare, but no. Wyvern stays alive for now, but Foggy should be transitioning into archers at this point. Yeah, fifty supply, more or less. It's kind of the standard. And the alchemist solo creeping the lab, getting closer to three. I'd say Foggy, looking to be in a pretty good position here. Big healing potion, very good find. Late, however, not really close to level 3, at which point he probably wants to go for mirror image. And Fly gonna try the counter expansion. It feels like a bit of a late counter expansion though. A player's forces are under attack. Late buys a talisman. What? I've never seen that before. 300 gold. For a talisman, really. He wasn't even at 50 supply yet. That's the weird thing. What happened to the heal scroll, by the way? I guess he had to use it earlier to survive. Book of the Dead is really good. Especially if Foggy doesn't bring wisps. Fly a bit late to react to this push, and it's going to take quite some damage here in the main. Foggy's going to have a big army. This game is starting to look better and better for Foggy. Shop has fallen, has to be remade. Burrow also going to fall. Fly going to be supply blocked right here. Blade Master does have mirror image, and Foggy's going to TP out for losing too much. Taking out the Boros here buys him a lot of time where he's going to have superior production. We see that right now. Fly really needs Shadowhunter level 4. Needs it badly. The expansion might now be finishing. Not sure if Foggy has the time to get a cancel here. And this is looking a lot like the first map for Foggy. Wound Bracers, pretty much useless. Blade trying to get an item from the middle, but Foggy's there first. And it's hard to imagine how Fly's gonna hold here. Foggy has so many advantages. He also brings Wisps, importantly. Otherwise, the Book of the Dead could have been good, but Fly has only, what is that, seven units. Many of them very hurt. And the production hasn't started yet. Fly just a little too late with everything this game, it seems. Alright, 
Good mirror image. He breaks out of the entangle. Shadowhunter finally gets level 5. But this... This is just too much. <laughs> it's just too much. AP is coming in the back. Lots of archers, lots of hunts. And it's just a clean timing by Foggy. The strat that we have seen work so many times before. And the big mistake, I think, was not scouting the expansion here early game with the Peon. If the expansion is this early, you would love to be able to cancel it. And he could have been able to. If he had seen it. Master is very tanky, but now with the APs ready, it's so hard to break into this. I love the staff play on the Alchemist to get mana. We have more heal spray again. And this is just a death trap right here. Fly entering into this little push. Oh, it's more than just a little push. Has to, of course, this is his main base. Lightning shield in the back, but Foggy instantly ready with the Wisp that made. I really love the Wisp that Foggy's bringing. Always paying attention to that detail, which is very important. Fly spamming the clarities, and of course, he needs them on the shadow. Fly advantage, absolutely huge. Demolisher coming out only now, too late. I imagine wouldn't have had an easy time against the archers anyways. Fly is trying everything, remaking the barracks, but map number four should finally go to Foggy. Again with the staff play, Alchemist comes back from the main once again, very fast. He's regen the mana from the moon wells, he can use more heal spray again. Fly has lost so much, he's not even really mining anymore from the main base. Fair. Fly is holding here fairly well. Foggy is not quite able to break the main yet, but he's also not losing many units now, is he? It's gonna turn daytime in just a moment, so the moon juice region is gonna be gone, but there's still tons of juice in there, so not that big of a problem. Late level 4 finally, but Late Master plus Serpent War seems to be the only thing that's really dealing damage right here. Trying to go for hero kill me. Is that the way to do it? Not really. Invo potion is there. Blade master dropping very low. Oh, and look at that. Even the shop in the back by Foggy. Love that. It's gonna have some more clarities and potions to use. Because he had lots of gold. Because he hasn't been losing many units. Especially these archers have always been very well protected. Oh, the Blade Master, if he falls, it's game. Honestly, this talisman has been really good. I'm not exactly sure if it was worth 300 gold earlier, but it's been very helpful. And the main base falls, and that might be it.
Foggy's still taking his time. He doesn't want to overcommit. He doesn't want to throw away his advantage. He knows how far ahead he is. Go tier 3 now, maybe. Ah, yeah, he did. A player's forces are under attack. Foggy is oftentimes a bit hesitant to go tier 3 in this matchup, but here, now, with this big of a lead, why not? Fly still has hope that maybe his heroes can do it for him. Double level 5 heroes are very strong. But he's still staring down a hugely massive Night Elf army. <laughs> Gotta admire the fighting spirit though. Speed scroll. Get over to the expo. Last attempt. Shadowhunter staffs in. Ooh, I was worried. He might get trapped there, but no, he's fine. Oh my god. Such a huge army. 80 supply for Foggy. About to get tier 3, by the way. More than 1,000 gold. Well, yes. This does simply look like too much. A big blob of units. A fly wouldn't give to have Clap or Nova in this situation. That is, of course, the downside with this orc build. It's not very good in AoE, which is why this Knight of Tier 1 mass works out so well. the last vestiges of Fly's army are going down. He's going to call for the GG. And Foggy gets one step closer. Gets one map here and still has a chance to at least tie the series this best of six. But for the next map, we're going back to Nettie's. So things are going to get a little bit more... And this is going to be Concealed Hill. Usually considered a pretty good orc map. If the early game goes well for you, the keeper should be prevented from getting level 3 too early. And because of how hard the expansion is to creep on the map, the Blade Master can normally harass the Night Elf on tier 2 at that expansion fairly well, while the Shadow Hunter with Wyvern tries to creep on his side of the map. And then normally we'll get into a 2 base 2 base scenario pretty early on. And it is indeed a Blade Master first. And Foggy with the Keeper. No more Demon Hunter. No more Talon plays. On this map, Talons seem like a very bad idea anyways. Players forces are under attack. Fly seems to want to do that peon scout every time. Has also incorporated the new trick of pulling out the camp, the first one with the peon, to slow down, to try to slow down the night up just a little bit. Circlet, great start for the Blade Master. Circlet or Claws, of course, attack. always what you want. And Foggy with the Keeper going into the top left at the green camp. Gonna get the level 2 there, certainly. Guaranteed. 
But Fly might be able to steal the merchant away from the Night of Side. This is something that orcs have been doing quite a bit recently. And I wonder if the Nidos aren't allowing this too easily. This is a big deal if you get this merchant. Not only do you get the merchant creep in level 2, if he does the whole thing. Which I guess he might actually not. He may fall back after just getting the item. Uh, no. Seems to stick Hopefully around for the whole thing. Gets level 2. Gets a sentry wards, which is great. And he's got the double circlet. Keeper with the ring and slippers, really not the best items. But Fly knows it's nighttime now. This is dangerous times for especially AP pushes, so he's sending out a peon. Wants to scout, wants to see. Oh, well, the blade is staffing in, and that means he should be able to get the last hit on the turtle. He gets the deny. And every little last hit here for the keeper matters. Every bit of experience, every step that gets you closer to three. Yeah, I gotta say, I don't like this early game creep route by Foggy too much. Allowing the merchant on your side to be taken by the blade so easily. Seems like a mistake. But he got the telly staff, making it across the map Hopefully towards the green. Are under and will be working towards his level 3 there now. The second sentry that Fly placed here, I'm a bit too surprised to see up here, next to the fountain. Interesting. He got a lot of intelligence tomes, by the way, so this blade is going to have a lot of mana to work with. Great for either Windwalk or Mirror Image. And here we see the expansion coming for Foggy, no surprise there, of course. Oh, this blade master is going to get level 3 right here. I would, I'm would. i normally the biggest fan, as you guys know, of mirror image. But in this scenario, I think level 2 window walk would be amazing. To harass the expo. Or is he too late for the expo harass? That's the question. He sees Foggy down there. Pops the speed scroll and wind walk. Alright, he wants to get there as fast as he can. And it should be wind walk too. Definitely win walk too. It would be huge if you could steal the Null Overseer, but Foggy certainly should not allow this. I'm not seeing any Sentinels. Oh, the Windwalk is about to run out. It's really close. Oh! Very unfortunate timing. Who's going to get the item, though? Fly gets it! Of course, he's got the better ping right here. It's only a crystal ball, so this is going to be a sell anyways, most likely. That's an early level 3 Blade Master. Player's forces are under attack. Can easily heal up at the fountain now. His Windwalk lasts a long time. And he can cancel the Entangled over and over. Hunter's is being sent back to deal with the Blade, I like that. Oh, and the Creepjack coming in. Blade Master staffs to his grunts, trying to save them. There's no Hex here to threaten the Keeper. The Shaman not quite ready in time. First grunt should be going down. Ah, nope. I heard a Purge. Maybe he was able to save the grunt. So many sentries. Fly finding two pairs of sentries in the game has a lot of vision. Augie's trying to deal some more damage. With the Keeper 3 and the Entangle, he knows, uh, and the Acid Bomb, he knows he can definitely try to look for some kills right now. Players 
And I think that was another last hit stolen. Fly pretty boldly, attempting the next camp with the opponent right next to him. The Shadowhunter gets level 2. And gets focused right away. Quick though with the Purge. As the Alchemist is in trouble, it's the Alchemist who's dead. Level 2, Windwalk. Oh, but the Shadowhunter also in real trouble. A player's force are under attack. Doesn't have a speed scroll here as it seems. But Fly gets out of the sticky situation fairly well. If he saves the Shadow here, that's great for him. This will have been a great exchange overall. More Wyvern coming as well. Healing up now. Blade Master continues to creep. Blade Master close to level 4 already. And I wonder if he's going to go Mirror Image or not. Oh, in the Shadow. Shadow getting dived hard in the main. I think even if he dies here, it's not the end of the world, perhaps. Oh yeah, the Shadow is going to go down. Oh, Invul Potion transferred! Oh no! The Shadow actually survives. Oh goodness. And there was a heal scroll TP committed. And a Huntress goes down. That was a lot of losses for Foggy, who's going tier 3 fast this game. Which is very unusual for him. If Fly was to creep level 3 Shadow right now and go for an attack, Foggy would be in serious trouble. Fly gonna get to the fountain. With two Wyvern he might be able to creep this fairly easily. Doesn't have too much mana here on the Shadow Hunter. The Blade Master got another item from the shop. Another inborn. Got a Talisman of Evasion, which he seems to be a big fan of. And that should be Shadow Hunter level 3 here, I believe. With the last creep. Yeah. A lot of accuracy, actually not too bad, as he still has Wyvern in the game. And Foggy does not seem strong. He's got tier 3, yes, but he's far away from actually getting those upgrades. Oh, Zapper forces a cancel. Fly's reaction was fast enough. Alright, Foggy. Definitely seems a bit weak at the moment, but if he holds here, this game should be his. He's got the tech advantage, he's got the expo advantage. But he doesn't have L3 Alchemist. And he's got mostly Hunts, which are, of course, not going to be too good against these Wyvern. And then we go. Blade Master into the back, taking out the archers there right away. This is not a good start of the fight for Foggy. He's got a score of protection, trying to make these units a bit more durable. But with the purges and focus fire, you can see how these hunters are suffering. Heal spray being used, but it's only level one heal spray, and the alchemist is about to, about to be out of mana. Well, he's losing quite some units here. Speed scroll chase. Just going for the one archer, perhaps a bit of a waste on the speed scroll. Oh, but more purges, more archers being caught, and the engine of war should be falling as well. That means very limited production only for foggy. And the low HP runs can be sent back to the fountain for free healing. Foggy finally has the Orb of Venom, but what else does he have? Not too much. In the meantime, Fly is expanding again. The expansion should be finished in around a minute. Oh, he's just using something else. Blade is about to get level 5. Jesus. But the mana on the Shaman is starting to run very, very low. Fly is going to fall back, try to heal up first. Shadowhunter staffing back, I like that. Towards the shop to get clarities. And there's no casting this expansion anymore. Fly is still aware of how strong he is. Would love to get some more kills. I'm not sure if Fly has lost any units in this push right here. 
And he gets so much in return. Blade Master, as I said, about to get level 5. Shadowhunter should be close to 4 as well. A player's forces are under attack. Kind of, at least. Oh, there was a sapper, but that one didn't do anything. Maybe it blew up like a shop or something. Foggy, of course, loves the sappers, as we know. Looking for the next kill. Going for the keeper. Blade entangled, but he's not really taking too much damage. He is pretty tanky. Well, now he's feeling the pain. Has to use the Invo Potion. Almost has that level 5. There it is! Now we're gonna have level 3 Critical Strike. They're not gonna be that huge. He doesn't have much bonus damage, to be honest. Has a pretty big army already. 60 supply and going up. Shop coming up at the expansion, fully mining now. Fly looking to be in a good position. He has a tech disadvantage, but that doesn't have to be the end of the world. If he has a big army with some raiders, he can still totally win a 70 versus 70 fight with some heal scrolls. Heal scrolls are going to be very important here. They're going to be hotly contested. Foggy also wants to get those. By committing to the expansion. And that seems to be working out. Blade Master taking a lot of damage. But he's got the Invo Potion waiting until the last moment. Classic fly. But he gets the expansion indeed. Blade Master now a little exposed, but pulls him back perfectly in time. He waves are ready. And Foggy in a ton of trouble now. Fly getting ready for the ultralight game is adding Kodos. It's gonna get more scrolls, I imagine. And he has these super strong heroes to rely on. This looks almost checkmate for Foggy. Hard to see how he's gonna come back from this. Down in supply, down in economy. He's got the tier 3 tech advantage, but again, that's not that big. All things considered. Foggy's well, trying to make it across the map while the opponent is busy creeping the red camp. Maybe try to take out the Great Hall and TP back. Perhaps that's the idea. Player's forces are under attack. But he doesn't have much building damage here. It's mostly archers. Oh, that TP... <laughs> a little too early. Or a little too far away. That should be enough. Well, the sapper comes in. Trying to get the kill, but doesn't quite manage to. And that is going to be GG. And, oh, fly with the victory. 4-1 to one win for fly. First time he gets points in the Rejuvenation Cup. Foggy, unfortunately, still only one point in the standings. Things are getting rough for him. But a good day for fly.